In this overview, I'm going to give you a taste of how you can use FSOFT's Intelligent Advanced Capture Platform to process inbound email attachments, classify the types of documents, extract data, and then route to a SharePoint Online library. The great thing about FSOFT's platform is we can pull documents from just about any source. In this case, you'll see email, but we can process folders of documents, we can take input from scanners, copiers, mobile devices, and then we also have the ability to grab documents from legacy content repositories, process them, and then route them not only to SharePoint, but just about any type of repository that you have. So today what we're going to show you is some real automation and efficiency through the use of our classification and separation engine. You'll see that we'll have a giant PDF that has a number of documents contained within. We're going to use our engine to split that into individual documents, classify, and then route. This is a huge time saver, okay? Not only in processing existing digital documents, but if you're scanning documents, you can scan the stack and we'll do the heavy lifting for you. We're also going to extract data. So once we identify the type of the document, we can now look at the information on the document intelligently to find relevant data. In this example, we're looking and finding an invoice number, and then we go ahead and extract that actual value based on its proximity to other words on the page. This takes away manual processing and really gives you some efficiency and increases productivity. So in this actual demonstration that I'm going to show you, we're going to map two SharePoint columns. We're going to pull information. We're going to process, post to a SharePoint site, library, a folder within that library. And we're actually going to map the data we extract and the way that we classify the document to those SharePoint columns. So this demo is fairly boring. I'm going to go ahead and email to my Office 365 email account. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's say I'm a new employee that has my HR documents. And I went ahead and I, I scanned those from uh, my home office. And I want to go ahead and send this to the, uh, the HR email. So we'll go ahead and say these are my documents. Oops, got caps on. And then we'll just put something in the body. Okay, we're going to go ahead and send this. And while we wait for FSOFT to do that processing, I'm going to go ahead and show you that PDF that I attached. So for demo purposes, I've got seven different documents within the, uh, the confines of this PDF. As I mentioned, what FSOFT's going to do is intelligently look through that PDF figure out when one document ends and another begins, and then intelligently designate the type of document. So you can see I've got an I-9 in here, I've got a payroll form, I've got a W-4, uh, I've got a non-disclosure agreement, okay? All of those are gonna be split automatically and then plopped into a SharePoint library. So let's go ahead and, uh, and bring down my library here. And as you can see, I've got uh, just a simple library with a folder called onboarding. And then within that library, I've got uh, custom columns with last name and document type. As I mentioned, as FSOF extracts the data, it's gonna put the, the uh, separated PDF in here, populate these fields, and oh, by the way, those, uh, those PDFs are also going to be full text searchable. So you've got the ability to do full text search in the SharePoint library. Let's see, let's go ahead and refresh here. And you'll see that my documents will slowly start populating into my SharePoint library here. One by one, they're being migrated. You'll see that it's adding metadata. So it actually named the file with the person's last name, which was extracted from the document, the type of document, and then we give it a, a unique identifier as well. And by now they should all be in here. Okay, so you can see out of that one PDF, we did all the heavy lifting in the work 
to go ahead and split those documents out automatically. And then one thing I like to point out as well is that uh, we also grab the email. So if you remember the email that I wrote, we actually take the email and, uh, and create uh, an image out of it for archive purposes. So now not only do you have the attachments, but you have the option of actually taking uh, an image, PDF-wise or TIFF, of the email and putting it into the repository. So this was a quick overview of uh, the types of things that you can do from an email auto archive perspective with FSOF. If you have any questions, go to FSOF.com and give us a shout.